Morning ladies and gents, I'm Stuart from Patrolis and today we're going to talk about the differences between mesh and glasses when it comes to eye protection. As part of our new player introduction videos, we want to give you the best advice that we can when you're making your choice when you're starting this sport. So to start this video, we're going to talk about mesh eye protection. We've got a couple of choices of mesh eye protection here. Normally, it's made out of sheet stamp steel um, and has foam around the back to create a nice positive seal when it's on your face. The pros of this is the heat can escape very, very easily, preventing any form of fog up, uh, so you're not going to start losing vision or uh, finding it difficult to see uh, enemy targets at range. The downside of this is obviously the very small holes in this, nowhere near big enough for a BB to go through, so don't worry about that, but small bits of debris, dust, dirt and anything like that, if you're crawling around, can make their way through and then you'll ha maybe have to leave game, clean them up and get back in. Another minor negative for mesh glasses is because they slightly impair your vision, if you're going into somewhere that's quite dark, a building, CQB, or if it's coming into the evening in winter time, you will lose some of your uh, natural vision uh, with the sort of blurry effect that it gives you slightly. So the next thing we're going to talk about is polycarbonate glasses, usually the classic form of eye protection when it comes to airsoft. There's an absolutely massive scale when it comes to polycarbonate. There's smoked glasses that you can see here with the bollies, they're slightly tinted. So you also have polarised eye protection. These are basically sunglasses that are ballistically protected. They're always labelled with polarised and these are for when you're playing in summer on very bright days. There's also yellow frames. These uh, highlight targets at distance and increase the uh, light coming through the glasses. Makes it very easy to see targets at range. The benefit for the polycarbonate ones is these have an actual industry standard ballistic rating. So when these are hit by BBs, you know they're 100% safe. Another bonus for these is like with the sawflies that you can see here, on the inside, they have an insert so that you can get prescription glasses fitted inside them. When it comes to the pros and cons with polycarbonate, the pros are you get very, very good field of view. There's very little uh, degradation towards your vision, especially at range, uh, going inside and outside of buildings, you're going to be very, very good. When it comes to the downsides, sometimes people get fogging up issues, sweat on the glasses, and it becomes very difficult to see. There's many, many ways to stop this. We have our X-Fog system that's in stock now. It blows air around the top of the glasses and a constant flow of air over the glasses prevents them from fogging up. A second way of stopping it is Bolly produce anti-fog wipes, sprays, everything like that. Produce a little film over the back of the glasses, again preventing it fogging up. Uh, the final way to do it, the dye mask over here and the dye mask lens that's uh, yellow, they have what's called a thermal layer. There's two sheets of plastic and an air gap between. Again, this creates a nice little thermal layer for them, prevents the steam and uh, the condensation building on the inside of the glasses. The biggest negative that some people have with uh, polycarbonate ones like this is they are quite difficult to find the right set for your face. We always recommend coming in store, try on as many pairs as you can and just make sure you get the one that fits your face properly. You don't want to find any gaps under your eyes here, or around the back here and seeing them sit off your face slightly. One final note, some sites may not allow mesh or must provide full face protection. Check with your local site or wherever you're going to go play airsoft and make sure you abide by their rules before you turn up so you're not disappointed on the day. Thanks for watching and look forward to the next new player introduction video. Thank you.